Hi, Kiki here, and I am going to play another hour of code activity with you today. I am excited to do the new Code Spark Academy lesson. We have two Code Spark Academy lessons for you here. We have this one, Code Spark Academy with the foos up here, and we have this one down here, Code Spark Academy with the foos. There's really no good way to tell them apart at the moment. So what I am going to do is I'm going to click on them. This one seems to end here, where this one seems to have something else that is it's trying to say, but it just got cut off. So I'm going to, maybe what I'll do is I will give you a look at both of them. And so you can see what they are, how to tell them apart and which one to use this year. So I'm gonna come down to the, I think this is the first one. I think this is the original one with the um, cop gathering donuts and it really just teaches you the user interface, moving forward, loops, etc. I'll click on start here. And oh look, oh look, there are multiple activities here. It takes you to the code spark page where you can see them. You have the puzzles, which are kind of the step-by-step -step ones. This is the, the one from previous years that I'm used to. This is create your own games where kids can design and code their own game and then learn to test and debug it. And then this looks like it's a brand new one for beginner to intermediate coders. Snoopy Snow Brawl multiplayer game lets kids test out their coding skills in a friendly snowball fight. Who will be the last bird standing? Oh, cute. Okay, now I think I think I'm going to show you segments of all of them. These are our code activities, so they should just be click and play. We shouldn't have to sign up and it shouldn't ask for any personal information. It looks like they can all be played on the web, which is so amazing. I've been waiting for more of this to be available on the web. I love this, but my only uh, uh, mobile device is my phone and that screen is just too small to really enjoy the beautiful graphics that CodeSpark has. So, I am going to come to this first one, play on the web browser. Oh, it looks like they maybe both go to, or maybe all go to this place. I don't know if you could hear that through my headset, but it's the cutest little foos. So I highly suspect that this web browser thing will lead us to all three. So it's the same link for all three. It does take a few steps to get here and it took a little while to load, but it looks like I have my choice of learn coding, challenge friends, and game maker. Now what is Pet Pals? Oh my goodness, this might be a really long video. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start with the foos. Oh, this music is so loud. I, um, I enjoy the Foos music, it's very good, but uh, for the course of this video, I'm gonna have to mute it because you can't hear the music since I'm wearing a headset and it's very distracting to me to have it playing in my ear. So here we go, this is the puzzle version. We are learning some simple uh, skills and the really neat thing about this is that it doesn't require language. So students who are very young or who don't speak English, all every student can pick up on this, which is great. It's very equalizing. So it shows you what you wanna do. You wanna drag your command in, you wanna click on the, the police officer and then watch her do the booty shake while she celebrates her success. <laughs> Adorable. Donut detective sequencing. So this means we're going to do two things in a row. Uh, sequencing is not important here, but it is a sequence of events. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put things up there. We're gonna click go and have the officer move forward. Hurrah! Now. <laughs> Keep going. I'm only gonna do one more. Uh, I, I don't believe that I can skip forward in this one, so I can't show you what you're moving toward. But if you keep the 
good educational content in mind. It's kind of a step-by-step -step evolution from like the algorithm sequencing to loops to kind of some of the bigger ideas. And, and this goes through the same thing. It goes into loops. And uh, I believe it might take you as far as events. When you click on things, different things happen. So we're just going to, we're gonna walk forward. We're going to jump. And I think that gets us everything we need. So we'll do this one last puzzle. And dancing on a box. Woohoo! I, th I would think something was really wrong if I saw my local police officer dancing on a box like that, but it's hour of code, so let's all celebrate. Beautiful, so that is that series. That's what you're doing there. You're moving forward, uh, step by step, learning different skills. I'm going to go back to choose the, uh-oh. Do, 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 do. Here we go, I'm gonna choose Snoopy Snow Brawl and show you what that one is about. All right, so one player versus robot. That's all we have unlocked. We don't have any of these other ones unlocked at the time. I don't know if it's something that we need to accomplish before we can open these up or if they just are not ready to bring this up yet. So we'll do one player versus robot. And it looks like they're making, oh, fun. Remember those, uh, those little binocular things that you'd pull the lever and it would go around in a slide and tell you a story. That's what's happening here. So the birds are basically challenged to a snowball fight. It looks like we're the bird. And so we click the bird. Oh, we are programming our snowball fight. So this is, we clicked when collision it looks like. Is that a, when collision or when you get hit with something, we will throw a snowball. That looks like what we're trying to do. So I'll click go. Oh, and it's showing us the code step by step. Nice. Now I didn't understand what, I didn't understand what that icon was. Cause it looked very like one direction to the other direction to a pow in the middle. And yet there was no pow before Woodstock threw the snowball. So. Uh, in this one, we want to throw it the other direction. So what do you think that is? It's clearly red and blue, which makes me think that it's the hats. Hmm. All right. So turn around, throw a snowball. Excellent. Round three. Uh-oh. I can see myself getting sucked into this one. So I am going to probably back off of this one really pretty quickly. Otherwise I might end up playing the whole thing and this video would be super long. But it looks like this is very similar in the, we have a goal, I'm gonna walk you step by step until you figure out how to solve that goal. And in this one, it looks like we need to walk towards the snowman. Once we drop down, see we would walk once and twice maybe. Once we drop down off the cliff, then we would be at a place that we could hit the snowman with a snowball. This, oh, we want it to go that direction. This is the last one, I promise. I just wanna see if I'm right. So we move over, fall down. Oh, there's a little trail behind me. That's so helpful. Excellent. You can tell this is a group of educators putting this puzzle together and I am really, really feeling it. So I'm not gonna do anymore. I'm gonna quit this game. It's fun. I could see doing an entire hour of code this way. But that is not what this video is. So I am going to do now, uh, let's try the Game Maker slash Pet Pals. Game Maker. Oh, okay. So it looks like the Game Maker and Pet Pals are not included in the Hour of Code trial. It looks like they are something extra that you can sign up for. It does, okay, it says learn more about Code Spark Academy. And then it has these two additional things. Uh, I have played Game Maker, it is a lot of fun. If you've played like Super Mario Maker, it's very similar. You can create your own worlds and then set actions to things and then have it 
work out that way. It's cute and fun and it also relies on coding. I have not played Pet Pals and I'm really kind of disappointed that I didn't get that opportunity here. The other thing that um, I'm confused about now is back at the Hour of Code page, <coughs> there were two Code Spark Academies uh, with the Foos and it made me feel like they were different years worth of things. But this is clearly not the Snoopy one. And so that just means these are for the same thing. They're just links that are going to take you to the same place. Uh, I was kind of hoping this would be for Game Maker, but I should have known by looking at it that it's not. I, I feel like they're being done a disservice by not having the Snoopy icon here. I think that would draw a lot of people to them. Anyway, I guess that's a shorter video than I was expecting it to be. That is CodeSpark Academy. I highly, highly recommend, particularly for very beginners or students in the pre-K, kindergarten, non-reader uh, arena. Lots of fun. I had a great time. I hope you do too. Until next time, happy coding. Mm -hmm.